that? Woo! Good God Almighty! What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Bubba Flabasson. On today's video we have a little Walmart challenge. Um, and we have a new guy on the boat. Uh, he's one of the guys that I work with. And uh, he hasn't fished very much. Um, in fact, he only caught his third bass uh, in this video, and it was a pretty big one. And uh, we're using uh, Walmart rods, and we have a bag of Walmart tackle. We had some yum dingers, and they were uh, June bug colored. And then we had uh, some smoke shad flukes from Zoom. And then we had a bunch of uh, big boxes for crappie uh, fishing and stuff like that. And then we had a couple pre-made packs of grubs with jig heads uh, made by Cream. We don't have that very many baits on the on the boat, and uh, we're using four pound test Berkley Trilene extra smooth casting. Keep in mind, guys, this is four pound test, so every fish we hook feels like an eight pounder. So if you're new here, hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, hopefully y'all enjoy uh, old Picnic. That's that's our nickname. Uh, TX Huntsman actually nicknamed him Picnic. Um, y'all probably see him in the comments a lot on my videos, but. Uh, Old Picnic hooked him a nice little donkey, and uh, let's, we can just say he's uh, he's really hooked. So like I said, enjoy the video. we got a lot of fish that are caught in this video, and uh, it's the Walmart Challenge. We have nothing special, nothing fancy, just a good old $50 bag of Walmart baits and two $50 Walmart rods. So uh, enjoy the video. My bad, Chris. Damn, dude, that was exciting. Jeez, man. You saw, that was an instant hit. I need to tighten up my drag, don't I? No, you gotta keep it like that, because you got low line. Jeez, man. As soon as I hit the water? Dude, you saw that? He jumped right out after me. As soon as I hit the water, he hit it. Damn. They're hungry, man. See what I tell you. They ain't a bass, I don't think. That was a bass that I had. Choked it. It's a pretty fish though, isn't it? Yeah, she choked it. Look at the blue around his mouth. I told you I should have gone with that out pound test, Chris. No, that's probably your knot. You think so? Yeah. I double fortified it. <laughs> what? Bet you one of them flukes would work. You mean that big frog thing? No. The, uh, the, the thing you caught your first bass on. Just what, regular hook? Fish? Yep. I'll do that if this one snaps. Picnic just got him a bass, boys. A little dink. What'd you say, Picnic? A little dink, man. I had a big one a minute ago, but uh, got away from me. See his eyes, how it's red? A little male bass. Not right. a bad start today. Hope that's not my only fish today. Oh, uh, okay. See, we can get you got to let that thing sink for a while, though. What do you mean for a while? Try to get him on the bottom? Yeah. Just kind of give it a twitch like this. Just like with the bass. Trust me, that'll work. If you let it get down there and you twitch it like that, Let it sink for how long? About six or seven seconds. And you feel weight on then if it's at the hook. Oh, when I twitch it? Like when you go to twitch and you feel like dead weight, set the hook on it. I got something big. You sure? Did you see it bounce? Be careful, dude. I know. Fine. Better get the net, get the net. I don't have a net. Break. Be careful. Just let him go where he's going. He's gonna jump. Picnic is hooked. Just be careful, picnic. Get the net, dude. Get the net. Get I'm gonna net. grab him. Woo! <laughs> 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 Baby! 
baby! Oh, dude, that's a monster, man! Oh! <laughs> that thing! It's about a four-pounder, five-pounder, maybe. Dude, get a picture, man! Oh, dude, look at that fish, guys! There you go. She should bite on your finger. <laughs> Heck yeah, guys. So I was just sitting there, right, guys, and I was sitting in my chair. I wiggled a little bit, it didn't move. And I just stood up and set it. And then I heard Zoo! And then I just started reeling it in, man, real slow. And it it was pretty heavy and it felt like I was gonna break the line. Show them show what you're using. Just a little $50 rod from Walmart, you know, nothing special. Just Abby Garcia Black Mac, show them the lure. Nice little zoom, just non-split belly fluke. I hooked him right in the roof of his mouth too. That's his uh, third bass ever, guys. <laughs> this is uh, Chris Bubbleville. What's going on, dude? He's a YouTuber, dude. You you ought to follow his YouTube channel. You see his fishing in it, man. Yeah, I watch a lot of fishing channels, so I'll check it out. Dude, he he's been kind of coaching me. More of a reward. I don't know, dude. Well, it depends on the kind of hunt you're doing. Like, squirrel hunting is like, oh, There's I did There's a bass it. right there, dude. Now I gotta skin squirrel it. Hunting. Yeah, squirrel hunting, not the What do you got? Oh, you got something? What do you got? A big. All right, I'm gonna get the net. Hang on, Sasha. You about to get a big one. No, nah, he's only like two pounds, though. I got him, dude. I ain't gonna worry about it. You got him? I still wanna see him. You wanna lip him? Yeah, I'll lift him. I'll lift him. Here, get get to the uh to the uh <laughs> Where is he? Ooh, dude, I don't know. Ooh. The big one. Don't lose him now. Hang on. Oh, okay. Hold on, don't don't grab the line. Look, let me show you a trick. Watch this. Look, you see it? Watch this. That's a decent one, man. Look, watch. It's oh, yeah. a decent little fish, bro. Get it on. Get it on video. Hold. Thanks for landing my uh, my fish picnic. You're welcome there, buddy. Ah! What? I gotta get up in there, dude. Yeah. Use the tank. Four pound line, guys. Two. Good size. Two or three. You feel that yeah. on your finger? Heck yeah, man. Pretty fish. Throw up in there, dude. There's another one. Come on, man. I just want one more, man. That's all I want. You got one? Woo! Woo! Shoo! What's in his mouth? Oh no. 
Let me see. Oh, it's a fish carcass. Guys, look at that. Look at that, guys. <laughs> I was just sitting in his mouth. You can let him go. Nice little one-two pounder. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you, Picnic. Sorry for stealing your food, bud. It's called a Cinco. Woo! She got some range. How, dude? This is huge. I want my worm. Bring him over to the side. Woo! What time is he? Three. Heck yeah. Nice little three pounder, dude. We we have a Walmart set up everything. Like I don't even have my good stuff as y'all have seen. What is happening today, dude? What do you mean? Cranking them out. I mean for you. That's more than one fish today, dude, to make an official YouTube video. Like when you're fishing these and you're standing up with it, they're kind of just like dead weight when you pull up on it. I'll grab that. Hey, look. Let me show you something. Here, watch out. Let me show you something. If you can't grab a lip, go like this. Go up underneath of them and scoop them. Nice little chunk. I wasn't even paying attention and he just started running away with it. It's getting See? You're not catching nothing now because you're trying too hard. Relax. Don't go past this spot till I get rigged up, alright? Alright. Shoot up under that log. You see back there where that fallen log is near the bank? No way. Yeah. He's on the boat. Thank you, Picnic. <laughs> You're welcome, bro. Nice. It's a female. You can let her go. Thank you, sir. Drop my hook trying to get your fish. <laughs> oh, there it is. You son of a bitch. Oh! <laughs> that suck. Oh, we still got some left. Cool. Yeah, I need more these right? If you think it, try it. If they ain't eating top water. My name's Chris Bubbleville. I catch them, you eat them.
Good job, man. It's the last worm, dude. Do you lose it? Yep. What are you gonna use now? Last fluke. I can promise you, if you get a bite with that fluke, I'm gonna push you off this boat. All right, guys, so hopefully, y'all enjoyed that video. Uh, we absolutely slayed him today. So, old picnic definitely realized bass fishing isn't as easy as it looks. Um, I kind of found Cinco Bite. It's just that time of the year where free-floating uh, lures work. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all heard me tell him uh, if you free-float that fluke and you kind of dart it around like a jerk bait, let it sink for eight to ten seconds, and uh, he he absolutely got hammered. And um, I'm trying to teach him as we go because, like I said, he doesn't have really any fishing experience at all. And uh, like I can definitely say that he's hooked, and that's a good thing. Hooked on fishing is actually a really good thing to be hooked to because there's a lot of bad stuff out there that you could get hooked to, of course. But uh, like I said, we actually absolutely slayed them, and uh, I just took full advantage of that bite. I mean, every time I'd reel up my slack and I'd, I'd have a bass there, and old Picnic was like, "Man, you make it look so easy." I'm like, "Dude, I've been doing it since I was two, and you know that's what I love doing." And uh, you'll get there eventually, Picnic. So uh, just keep on keep on casting man that's all you got to do just keep on picking up knowledge keep on picking up every little technique and just keep bettering your equipment as you go and anybody could do this if they have the patience and they really want to that goes with anything in life you could do whatever you want to as long as you don't let nobody stop you and you know fishing is one of those things that i thoroughly enjoy as y'all all know on this channel um i just uh Fishing is my, my number one hobby, and that's just one thing that I like to share with y'all. So y'all are going to see Picnic progress each video whenever he's fishing with me. We're going to try to do a lot of fishing trips at the end of work every day. And I uh, need to start bringing my better equipment because that four-pound line really, uh, really was stressful. So without further ado, we're going to get up out of here. If you're new, hit that like and subscribe button. I really would appreciate it if you just go over here and smash that subscribe button. It's down below. And uh, I got a monster bass unboxing coming soon. And don't forget about that Venom giveaway. And uh, I'm out of here.